Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to another Starman Debates. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy, David, and Cody. Woo! Hey, everybody. Greetings to everyone. And guys, we'll just go around the room, see what everyone's playing or watching. Mm, I've used Bioshock. I've got the Quests, the, the Bioshock Shock Collection. Nice. And I just got one thing. I never finished it originally on the Xbox. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah. When I got the phone home areas, I'm like, I don't remember these areas. I'm like, oh shit, I don't I never beat this game. Yeah. yeah. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto V. Okay. Trying to make money. I heard that's kind of a chore in that game. Yeah. I, I might just leave the PlayStation running for as long as I can, see how much money I can rack up. Oh, I was racking the money, but I did all the job. The heists. <laughs> yeah, that's, I heard that's what you have to do, is just do heists over yeah. and over again. Grind your money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. David. I'm still stuck in I'm stuck in that gamer rush about going through everything. Ah, uh, okay, so you're just looking for your backlog. Yeah. And I picked up Harvest Moon sixty four of all the old games to play, so Yep. Playing that. <laughs> Not a bad game. No. It surprised me you know about it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few things that um, my gaming history that might surprise you. Yeah. Is your farm on fire yet? Hmm? No, I'm actually doing a decent job this time around. Now that I know there's a time limit, my dad comes in three years. Okay. Last time I was just a uh, bit diddling around because I didn't think there was a time limit on this game. Right. Dad comes as like a surprise visit. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, where'd you go? (laughs) (laughs) I I was here when you started that back up. Yeah. And you aptly named your horse, too. Yeah, I tend to name my horse and animals the products that they can be made out of. (laughs) So horses need glue. (laughs) I was just thinking that. Might as well, you don't want to get too attached to the thing. Yeah. (laughs) What did you name your dog again? I kind of forget my dog's name. It's like, come on, he's going to go, like, if he doesn't behave, it's like, I'm going to take him to the... You're uh, going to take a trip to the glue, glue factory. factory. And he's not coming. <laughs> yeah, but you can't see it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> obscure reference was obscure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so guys, what happened to Coach Multiplayer? The internet. There. Boom, that's the, that's the podcast. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Hey, have a good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously though, and yes, we know the internet's probably the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. But you think people are still out there want to sit down with their friends and play a game around one TV screen? Yeah. Split into four smaller screens. Friends. Mm-hmm. Associates, the people you don't want to murder. <laughs> Even then, that's a stretch for you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a stretch for all of us. Yeah. You're not only on my show because I needed three people to talk other than myself. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that episode of Devin talked to himself? That could probably be possible. I could pull that off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, yes, back to Cage Multiplayer. So, first examples of this would be back when there was two-player mode on games. Yeah, so like Super Mario. Super Mario, the NES, and Atari. Every console had a two-player mode. As a lot of game developers knew that most families had two siblings in it. So, yeah. making a console where two people can play at the same time is a great way to sell stuff. Yeah. Hey, everyone can play. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and then we went to four player with uh, the N64 starting that. I can go to Goldeneye. 
Good old Goldeneye. That was one of the popular ones. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Smash Bros. Yeah. The one with the others do was supposed to be with Goldeneye. I remember uh, dividing up with uh, Carl Board. <laughs> it's like uh, when we do the team deathmatch. Oh, yeah. We put the cardboard down the center so you, you, you can see where the other ones were. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. What the problems of couch multiplayer? Screen sharing. Yep. Yeah. Out over here. Oh, crap. Yeah. My, me and my friends had an interesting way around that. It was We basically, every time you were moving, every time you stopped, you'd face a wall. So that when someone looked at your screen, they don't oh, see these wall. walls. That's actually not bad. Yeah, except for like you're turning your back on every opponent, like on uh, oh. <laughs> stay in the hallway from you. Oh god! Wait, what? <laughs> Pop. There's a lot of interesting wall executions. <laughs> <laughs> Make friends with the wall. <laughs> guess it. Guess the wall. <laughs> But yeah, the split screen was kind of one of the drawing factors away from yeah. the couch multiplayer because everyone was like, "Yeah, there's screen cheating," and yeah, it's also they're too small unless you had a gigantic TV. Yeah, you were playing on one fourth of your screen size. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so point one two mm -hmm. the. Online multiplayer because you can have your own screen. Yeah, that's also your own space and couch because you can sit at wherever you want. You don't have to share a couch with three or four people. Yeah, I was this. I think the only when like I was like playing like Goldeneye the multiplayer or like like the Mario Party games. I was throwing wrestling be a good one that uh, you could do multiplayer and not have to worry. Yeah, because you need everyone's going to see where everyone is anyway. They're yeah. all in one ring. Yeah. So I guess we can agree games like first person shooter multiplayer benefited from online play. Yeah. 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 Very much so. Because that is where knowing where your opponents are kind of takes the challenge of the game. Yeah. Well, this ain't no fun. Yeah. Stop looking at my screen. <laughs> I'm not. Why well, are you so good? Scale. Because I'm looking at your screen. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know where I am at all times? I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> the other games that weren't affected by the screen thing was fighting games. Yeah, like one-on-one -on -one yeah. fighting, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have one-on-one -on -one fighting until Smash. I can't remember any other fighting game that would have more than one per or more than two people fighting it out. Not even wrestling games? Yeah. Billy would be the expert on this one. Was there a wrestling game before the 64? WrestleFest. Arcade. Arcade. Because so, I'm pretty sure that was the four. That's not really couch multiplayer, though. That's, yeah. Arcade multiplayer. But <laughs> if it had a port to other system, though, it would. Yeah, yeah again, probably be N64 yeah. or something. Cool. That, uh, actually, they did port it over to the 360. Yeah, but that, I know. after the I fact know. of what we want to know, Billy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> yeah, no, I. No, I think it was just the. The tag. It was just in the tag thing, so it was. Until the N64, I don't think. Cause... Actually, I might be lying through my teeth. Bomberman. All right, Bomberhead. The mul Bomberman, I mean. Bomberhead is a greater name for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was some more. The yeah. Multi tap. The multi tap for the Super Nintendo. Oh, God. God. I've heard about this thing. Mm -hmm. Not the greatest thing. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah, that would be multiplayer. Yeah, no, good. Good job, Brain. Mm. Yay!
Good job, Brain. We get to watch one educational program tonight before we drown ourselves in YouTube. <laughs> I think one that wasn't, you know, ruined by, like, split screen was Mario and, like, Sonic. They never really did split screen to start with. No. No, I'm saying those weren't limitations yeah. to it. Well, that's because you take turns. Yeah. yeah. It was literally just, you might as well share the controller. Yeah. Yeah. I just maybe, maybe think of the original Mario where you, the first player, always kept, got to keep going until they died. Yep. So if you're good enough. Oh, I've done this to people. I've beaten the game while first player, while they sat there and did nothing. Well, damn it, die already! Never. Now, Mario Brothers 3 lets you switch. Oh, yeah, after you beat a level. Yeah. Or if you wanted to challenge your friend as he walked over you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would do that. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to cross now, Devin. You're not going to activate that stupid mini game. <laughs> nope! <laughs> Don't fit! I get your shit. <laughs> I don't know how I'd be multiplayer or two player Mario Bros. 3. Oh, God, Devin. <laughs> Oh, Lou Demi Jr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but the funny one is the one where you would let play, somebody play the original. Yeah, it's like, we're going to sit down and play two player Mario. Okay, I'm going first, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, let's have a uh, night. Well, that's fun. Let's go. <laughs> and then we get to play. Nope. <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to do? So, yeah, it sounds like for multiplayer coach, you get to know your buddy very well. Oh, yeah. Good or bad. Yeah. Just like playing Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Except for you can understand how much of a backstabbing jerk your buddy is with <laughs> a two player game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just use you as a stepping stone and hope this pit. Yep. <laughs> Thanks for activating that trap for me, buddy. Mm. You go on ahead. Oh, I was playing. Me and my uh, two buddies were playing SmackDown. Yeah. When it was two of us a pain. So they decided that they would do one on one, and I was the guest referee. Yeah. I don't know how I was able to do this, but they would fight outside. Uh, I was. Count them and they were still going to, like, when I stopped, went out, stunned them. <laughs> like, they're just counting them, like, there, match over. I'm like, dick! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like, hey, I gave the fans what they wanted. They want a Stone Cold Stunner. They yeah. got two! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he's not after. <laughs> I just thought of another disadvantage of the shared screen. What? One guy trailing behind the other. Yeah? Mm, yeah. You know, like in Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, you have two people, one person stuck in the corner. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere until that person's unstuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that yeah. would be an annoying That's thing. not split screen, that's shared screen, though, isn't it? That's what I'm, Oh, that's what I meant, sorry. Yeah. Shared screen. I wasn't sure if you, that's what you said, but... Yeah. I always love the shared screen where you had to stay on the screen with each other. Yeah. So, if I'm on the far right and he's on the far left, that screen ain't moving nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, there are some games that did it a little worse. Yeah. Shared screen, but if one player got too far away, the other player died. Yes, I kind of remember a few of these games. Mario, I think. No, it wasn't Mario. Donkey Kong? 
country? No. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'm, I know. I'm kind of blanking on it, but I know there was a game or two that did. Yeah, that. I, yeah. oh no. Oh, I know. It was a time to be in one of the games. I just can't remember which one. Yeah. The only game I can remotely think of that had something like that was that the NES Micro Machine game. They had like a versus mode where if you get too far ahead, your opponent blows up. Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And then you do a little spin and it's like you get a point. Yeah. And that was just so annoying because it <laughs> slowed everything down. Especially when your other opponent is incompetent. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I remember that old game. I saw the disgust. Yeah. <laughs> no, but sharing screen. Uh, how about sharing lives? Oh, oh yeah. No. Mario World. <laughs> I'll steal your lives. <laughs> We're playing merely. Yeah, I was gathered 999, or 99 lives, and you're down to zero, and you're expecting me to give you 50. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can spare a life. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I could, but I'd just be wasting it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I think I remember a two-player where the character will die if you go off screen in a mystical ninja. Yes, that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. You automatically die. <laughs> What happened? You ran ahead. Yeah. You left me to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that was another one that bugged me because you, when you join, when another player joins in, they t they steal a life. Yep. <laughs> That'd be annoying. So your so your game could ultimately get screwed over by an idiot two player. Yep. Like it did with me one time. <laughs> I, I could just imagine playing that, have like one life left or two. Somebody comes in, oh, I'll join. No! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, talk about couch multiplayer. We should talk a little bit of online multiplayer. How that became <laughs> was because the internet connection got better and yeah. playing games online is now a viable option. Yeah. Now, why yeah. would you do such a thing? Well, the main draw is that you can connect with anyone oh, anywhere. Yeah. As long yeah. as they're playing the game at the same time as you. Yeah. Yeah. So, as long as it's a popular game, you should be able to find people online easily. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hell no, they have the esports leagues. Oh, what? Oh, I think he, I know what he means. Esports, like, it's like a combination of online and local multiplayer. Yeah. You yeah. just get a bunch of people in a room <laughs> on the same team and like, like, watch. It's, like, it's actually, it's actually, they cover on the sports channels I have. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, people can make money off of that. Yeah, I can see a job market for that. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. so your online community doesn't die, there's people hired to play it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, and of somebody's like, see, so the person, see, I told you I could make money playing video games. Pretty much. Yeah. Except for you gotta play the same one day in, day out. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. the downside. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Also downside of playing online. Too, you have people who that's all they do. Oh yeah, no, there's a vast skill difference we'll call it. Yeah. When you play online. You're gonna run into the people who's mastered this game because they played it to the end and back. Yeah. And then you're gonna get noobish players that just like this might be my second time playing. Yeah. And the turmoil that causes. And the turmoil that causes because one side gets angry because the other side's like Picking them off easy, and the other side's getting angry because the, they're being held back by this mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Oh, um. <laughs> yeah. 
Some games try to get around this by having a ranking system. Yeah. Which is also a little annoying in, in my mind. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, it's great that you separate your players yeah. into skill ranking. But, I'm trying to think of a better way to do that. Like, how do you put, judge a player's skill? Yeah, yeah, it was like. I might be a good first person shooter. I play like Halo and that, and I might just get into Call of Duty. Yeah. But because I just started Call of Duty, I'm going to be put with the new people. Yeah. And I'm still going to start owning yeah, left, right, and center. Yeah, then you just your angle will get bumped up. Yeah, my rank starts getting slowly bumped up. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still starting with the new guys when I should be playing with the more experienced crowd. Yeah. yeah. Maybe different servers? Different servers would help, but then you're asking people to be honest about their skill levels. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard thing to do for them to do, huh? Yeah. Well, some people like to boast and be like, yeah, I'm actually better than I think I am. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the achievements. Ah. Yeah. The achievement points determine your rank because then it shows how much you've played the game. Yes. That's actually good. Yeah, it's actually the worst one ready to do it. Yeah. It makes getting achievements more valuable for people who want to play higher ranked games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be interesting. Just a thought I had. <laughs> Game developers call me, I got ideas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your phone's ringing, it's uh, the husband of EA. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 yeah, everybody's assholes. There you yeah. go. <laughs> so, the online play, I don't do it. I'm not a big fan of online play. I I would rather couch multiplayer, in my opinion. Yeah, like, like, I'm the same. I'll play online once in a blue moon. In the reason why is because when I play with friends, I know who I'm with, and I know what I can say and get away with. Yeah, and, and yeah. The f then in the worst case scenario, you can boot out the troublemaker. Yeah. yeah. You can physically assault the troublemaker. Yeah. <laughs> and, and dude, you're playing with friends, you're just playing for fun. Yeah. Usually, yeah. I mean, some go the competitive way. And oh, yeah, it was... But that's just how, like, you play, you um, line, and, like, the guys, like, like, just send their own people. Yeah. Which, I think I mentioned that, that's in the previous podcast, we own a guy that wrestling game online, like, the only, <laughs> one of the few times I played it online. Yeah. The guy tried to eliminate me from the Rumble, and I reversed it, and I won the Rumble. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's just, um... Yeah. Yeah, like, online play, you don't know who you're getting no. at the time, and... Yep. No, they... There are people who annoy me in this world, surprisingly. Oh, yeah. You don't say. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm... I'm not believing that. It's me, Devin. Everyone's friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's only a few games I play online. Such as? Uh, Grand Theft Auto. I never understood this. No. I'm sorry, but I, I can see why, but at the same time, I was like, no. There's a bunch of explosions everywhere. <laughs> I was like, yeah. it's just Michael Bay. Yeah. 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 Grand Theft Michael Bay. Uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, well, that's yeah, the idea that game is designed from online. Oh, heck, I think the last game, dude. When you're supposed to have just single player mode. No, like they're and, like slowly weaning that out. Yeah, and I'm, that's one thing I'm not. A, no, no, you're not the only one. There's a lot of people who are like, I buy a first person shooter to play the story mode. Yeah, that's why. Or the campaign mode. Yeah, 
Oh, that's why when Rainbow Six Siege came out, I was all excited and I'm like, oh, there's no single player. I'm like, no, I'm out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, you took one of my favorite games and you ruined it. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm noticing there's a big divide between multiplayer and single player lately. There is. There's this huge chasm we're building. Yeah. There. If you're a solo player, you don't get to play with the multiplayers. Yeah. And with multiplayers, you don't get a story. Nope. Yeah, I mean, that, well, like, I play the games for the story. Yeah, I do too. That's the only reason I play a game. Yeah. Blasphemy! <laughs> yeah. I know there's a lot of people out there going up. Oh, oh, oh. I, I know, right? <laughs> but well, I'll digress from all that. <laughs> and there's only one other game I play online mostly. Dead by Daylight. Did you spend this whole time thinking about all the games you play online? No. Yes, yes, he has. Yeah, I no, don't believe you. So quiet. <laughs> yeah. He was trying to think of all his friends that he has online. Now, I'm going to, like, hypocritically contradict myself here. Um, I do play some games online. Diablo 3, I do play with friends online. Yeah. Yeah. um... Uh, I used to play Rift, which was online multiplayer. Massive online multiplayer. And... Yeah, a few others. I mean, Terraria I also did online. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't mean anything. You used to do it and you just don't do it anymore. Well, I still kind of do it. Oh, yeah. You still play Diablo, yeah. Yeah. So, But not as much. Not as much, but if you're to ask me um, to play a new game and it's like the big draw is that it's online multiplayer, I'm probably not going to be interested. No. Yeah, no. I don't know what's going to happen when the... The hype dies down. Yeah, and the server dies. Yeah, you got nothing. <laughs> you got yeah. literally nothing. Yeah. yeah. I went to school single player game. Yeah. What do you have? A multiplayer game with no server anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh-huh, an empty husk of a game. Yeah. That's so, paperweight. Always, yeah, that's what always bothered me about my online stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of people say, well, that's when you move on to the next one. (laughs) (laughs) Sir, I'm not one of those people who just cast aside things easily. No, no, I'm not either. Like, put a game on my shelf and be like, never touch this ever again. Yeah. Why is it here? (laughs) Yeah. Or just find some way to get rid of it just to get another one. Yeah. That cycle. Oh, yeah, no. Just, oh, I finished Call of Duty and the servers are dying. Snap. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, people doing that. <laughs> did I make that too realistic? Did I sell that really well? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe think of something else, though. But in the same vein, it's like... <laughs> I got, I got an A again. Can I get my my Call of Duty back, Ma? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get into this territory. <laughs> oh, the boat's about to be torpedoed. Yeah, that's why we're changing course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. I started it. <laughs> you started the day we tried to finish it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you ask me to sit down and play couch multiplayer, I'll be there in a minute, sir. Damn it. Online multiplayer, you're you gotta be selective. Very <laughs> selective. I think it's also I gotta play with people who get my sense of humor so I can oh, make yeah. jokes oh, yeah. about something and then everyone's like, You're a friggin' moron. It doesn't really help. I mean, I get that here, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's in good humor. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, just, uh, just online or legal. Yeah. 
Everything's illegal online apparently these days. Mm-hmm. Like, and all, it also seems like they stopped making good couch co-op games. It seems to be the trend is that people, uh, developers don't want to do that. Yeah. If they're going to make a couch multiplayer, they might as well make it online. It's yeah. the general yeah. look at it. But it's a bigger marketplace. Yeah. It kind of sucks. It kind of does, but at the same time, it makes sense. How are though Nintendo still holding in with their couch multiplayer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's of course Smash. Smash. Yeah. And uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um, Nintendo because their motto is family fun. Yeah. yeah. They really want to center it around multiplayer. Oh yeah. I mean Wii Sports. I mean that would. Yeah. Oh yeah. Who didn't play Wii Sports with a bunch of people? And the trick to that game for the boxing game was just take out your friend's kneecaps. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. dice. <laughs> now I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. So, and I think for that reason, it's why I usually get a Nintendo. Yeah, know, it's fair enough. Yeah. Thoughts on Couch Multiplayer, guys? Yeah, it, it was fun. Playing with friends, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I take Couch over online. Mostly. All of the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, my... I mean, even that, like, eSports thing with everyone just together. Yeah. Like, all the computers hooked, lined up, even that kind of feels... Not great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice that it exists, but at the same time, it's being able to connect more yeah. with your pl- friends and players. Yeah. Are not just random people you meet online. And for maybe that one match, and you'll never see them again. Yeah. So even if I was like, "Hey, that was a pretty cool dude," yeah. oh, the match is over, and I didn't get his gamer tag. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never see him again. Farewell, mysterious cowboy sounding man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Personal story. <laughs> like, I think some of my best memories were playing that Star Wars fighting game with my cousin. Yeah. No, uh, I think you can attest to this. Kirby Superstar. <laughs> that had, like, the best co op play. Yeah. As long as the competent guy was Kirby. Yeah, you gotta make the competent guy Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> because no one cared if the helper got killed. Oh, no, that, that was the fun of the helper. I could die infinitely. Yeah. I remember, like, exploding in front of my Kirby's face and being like, I think I have a problem. Or though you also needed a competent helper because your helper could be a jerk. Yeah. Oh, were you using that power? Nope, I exist. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You're defenseless now and can't <laughs> do anything. A button. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here. No. <laughs> I have a right to live. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rescinded. <laughs> So, I'm going to try and go for a list of, like, couch multiplayer. Other than like, a Mario Party game or wrestling. Uh, Gold, GoldenEye. Or GoldenEye. I can't think of many that, like, had memorable moments. Oh, no. It's always been, like, just single co-op. Yeah. yeah. Like, Goof Troop. That was a fun. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> for like, a TV show... Disney afternoon TV show turned video game. What's that? It was surprisingly well done. Yeah. Well, didn't Capcom do it? Yeah, Capcom went back when Capcom was good. Yeah. Like memorable moments from yeah a co-op game. Okay, uh, my brother and I were playing some football game on Sega. Yeah. Like, he was like, where the hell are you? I'm like, I don't know. 
Sorry. And then I came, he see, saw me come out of nowhere, catch the football, and just run and score a touchdown. I'm like, oh, that happened. <laughs> so that's how I come to play sports, okay. <laughs> well, that's the only way you can play sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I play sports any other way, I'm going to have a heart attack. Say it, not me. <laughs> um, well, I wasn't playing that gold eye. We decided to, one night to say, hey, we're going to put slappers only. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I remember that now. <laughs> yeah. No guns, just shout out the way. Not like this. <laughs> No, no I can lo- see you, Cody. Yeah, no one. I liked how, and for some weird reason, my friend and Nolan and I, I'm really bad at the game, by the way, so I will not play with <laughs> anyone except for specific people. But, uh, my friend chased me down, shot me three times with the golden gun, <laughs> a ramp- clip from the AK-47, and a few shots from the pistol, and finally the kitchen's up to me, cry chops me, and that's what takes me down. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm trying everything. This guy just won't go down. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he went down like a sack of potatoes. I want to believe my guy said just before he died, I'm impervious to bullets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Going down. <laughs> so, no, uh,. We're going to have to wrap this up here, guys, so uh, final thoughts and opinions. First on Catch Multiplayer. Oh, it, it was great memories. Yeah, great memories. I wish we had it back, yeah. but I understand why it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with the crowd, it was a good, they were good memories most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, online multiplayer. Yeah, it seems like we're not all on board for the no. online multiplayer train. No, like only only for certain games. Yeah, yeah. So the question is now: if I'm trying to get everyone included to get online multiplayer, what would it take to make you play an online game? Oh man, hmm. a decent community. A decent yeah. community. So yeah. maybe um. How would I do that? Is the problem? Yeah. I guess also hardware would be important. Hardware. Mm-hmm. No one wants a player with a with a slow connection. Yeah. Or choppy graphics. That's where servers come in because if you build local servers, uh, connections better. But okay. Um, it's still a problem because yes, if I live in a neighborhood with crappy internet connection, yeah. I'm going to have a poor time on the online server. Yeah. I prefer if, like, if I do meet someone online, or say Billy has an online account, to be able to actually locate Billy. Yeah. And play with him. I know a lot of games are fixing and doing that now, mm-hmm. where. If I have your gamer tag, yeah. I can just search for you and be like, "Hey, are you on? You want to be on my friends list?" So yeah, yeah like anytime that's... I'm playing, you can see. Yeah, no, that's hmm. yeah, because that way it's not catch multiplayer, but at least you're playing with friends. Yeah, the main issue I had was because I never catch someone's gamer tag, or you're yeah. playing the game, you don't have time to write it down. Yeah, if there's a way I could go like after the game list go through and be like send a message yeah mm-hmm. yeah true like I think PlayStation had something like that I think so or Cause... I know it's not uncommon cause I mentioned there's a lot yeah. of games and servers that do that because PS3 had something where that was like last like 15 to 20 people you've played with yeah so. yeah but at that point it's Remembering who it was. Yeah. Yeah. Which is more on you anyway, but yeah. yeah. If there was like a button I could press I'd be like, Hey, send this guy a message because yeah. I want to be friends with him yeah, while during cool. the gameplay. Yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I 
guess that's it. Thank you all for listening. This has been a Starman Talk or a Debates. Wow. Mm. We've been doing so many of the talk to talks lately. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I am your host, Devin. Billy, dig it. Cody, have a great night, guys. David, see you later. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>